Masters week. John Rahm at Augusta National to defend his title. The biggest news since he put on that green jacket, well, he's changed his stripes a bit, leaving the PGA Tour in December for Live Golf. He'll be making his first appearance in an event recognized by the PGA Tour since he defected. Rahm has the third shortest odds to win the Masters, according to ESPN Bet, behind Scotty Scheffler and Rory McIlroy. These are also the top three players in the World Golf Rankings. 2021 Masters champ Hideki Matsuyama rounds out the top six at 18 to 1. No other player in the field has shorter than 20 to 1 odds. The word short need not apply to Scott Van Pelt, who anchors our much. coverage from Augusta. We welcome you to Augusta, Georgia. The 88th playing of the Masters Tournament will get underway Thursday morning. 89 players with dreams slipping on a green jacket and the tee times the sheets on Thursday. Well, it's going to be interesting to see. Can we get out there and play at the time it says you're going to? Oh, it'll be a fly on the shoulder of one of these guys, Rory McIlroy and Tiger Woods. Rory trying to solve this riddle. If he is able to win it, he'll join Tiger in that ultra elite club of slam winners. It's five at the moment. That's the number of jackets that uh, Tiger's got alongside Andy North. I am Scott Van Paul and Andy, I allude to the weather, which we can all see coming. Hope all of our friends in New Orleans are doing okay. They had a ton of rain and it's working its way this way. Everybody kind of gets it. And I think we've talked about this so often. You just, how, how, do you, how do you go about something that you can't control when you try to control the controllables? You just have to mentally accept what's gonna happen to you and prepare the best you can. As bad as it is for the players out there in the rain, it's much worse for the caddies. They need at least one or two more arms with all the things they have to do. But it's going to be a bad morning. How bad it's going to be, we don't know. There could be a, a lot of electricity. If that happens, there won't. There will be a stoppage of play. If it's just rain, the players are going to have to play through that until there's too much water on the golf course. But all in all, it's going to make for a long day, and it does affect how the tournament goes working forward. What players will it affect the most? I think a guy like Tiger Woods, that if he has to stop his round and come back and restart and play more than 18 holes on the second day, that could be a problem. Wind is a featured element in this storm as well. It looks like it will quite literally blow through here. The great news on the backside Friday, Saturday, Sunday is yeah. supposed to be just spectacular. And again, with a smaller field than any other major, you have an opportunity to play catch up. The lens of Tiger Woods is a powerful one. He has an opportunity to make a record number of consecutive cuts. You think he will, yes or no? I think he can. I really do believe that. The players who've played with him say he's swinging so well that if he can just make a few putts here and there, and obviously the big question is, can his body get through a couple of days? He hasn't been able to complete three of the last four events that he has competed in. You're looking for a dark horse, and you say Sahit Thigala, why? Oh, absolutely. I love his strength. I love the way he's playing golf. He's had so many close calls. Here's a player that he's going to bust through eventually, and when he does, watch out. He's got a super talent, and he's got a little bit of fire in him that I absolutely love. It was interesting. I saw Saw him last year on Sunday and kind of gave him a, like, a small pep talk like hey man you're supposed to be here you're good enough to be here he shot 67 finished top 10 talk to me once in a while Andy <laughs> pick a winner all right who's the most likely major champion from last year to repeat uh, at, by winning a major this year you got Rom you have Brooks you have Wyndham you have uh, Harmon this this was really a, a, a tough tough choice. Brooks hasn't been playing great call, but once he shows up at a major, he turns into the tour's contract killer. He has got everything he needs to do, and he's such a competitor. I think he'd be the guy to do it. And when you talked, you listened to him talk in advance of this tournament, man, those eyes are cold. And he's like, look, if you can't get excited to play in these majors, what are you even doing? But you say they're all chasing the guy they won't catch. The winner is? It's got to be Scotty Scheffler. I mean, he is. And this sometimes this is just a simpler question answer than <laughs> it is. He's playing absolutely beautifully. What it takes to win here, he's doing exceptionally well. Give him himself a whole bunch of great putts putting up the hill because his iron play is so good. He's going to be tough to beat this week. For those of you that were with us for the preview show, the stat that was amazing from last year, he was first in greens and regulation. That's often a great indicator of who wins, but he was last in putts. That's not where he is this year, putting a little bit better. He's got a couple of wins coming in, and he is Andy's pick to win. All right.